evening all. We got to hurry up. We're running out of daylight <laughs> and a storm's coming. <laughs> Here is the fuse monitoring circuit of a Yaskawa servo drive type CPCR-MR0822KAW. Back in 2013, has it been that long? Doggone word to time go. Here we are 2019 already. But back in 2013, I had a drive come into the shop that was tripping on the fuse alarm. The red fuse LED was turning on. But the bus fuse was good. So something in this circuit right here was falsely triggering that fuse alarm. Here is a voltage comparator that when this output on pin 14 of the comparator is low, it turns on the LED inside that optocoupler and drives into the phototransistor and turns that phototransistor on. And that puts 8 volts through the collector emitter to this point right here. And uh, this goes to a hybrid module. I tested everything in this circuit good. The voltage comparator, part number UPC 177C in the 20 IC position on that board. I removed it and tested it good. All of the resistors in that circuit were good. Here we have at uh, position 115R a 470 kilo ohm resistor. Here's a resistor pulled to negative 5.6 volts DC. That's 15K in position 116R. Those two resistors were good. I lifted up one side of this diode and it tested good forward and reverse. The 33 kilo ohm and the 18 kilo ohm resistor in these two positions, 117R and 118R, were good. Uh, 118R, the 18K going to power supply ground, and the 117R, 33K, going to plus 5.6 volts DC. The one mega ohm resistor here is good. Now I had to lift these two up off the board to measure them because there's a lot of parallel circuitry going on here and if you measure them on the board they won't measure right but if you lift them off the board they will measure correctly on at least on my board and maybe not on yours but on mine they did. The one mega ohm resistor in position 112R on that board measured good. Here we have a 3.9 kilo ohm uh, resistor to ground at position 114R. Everything tested good. Here's the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor at position 120R. That tested good. The optocoupler was good. But I was getting a false fuse alarm telling me that that fuse was open. The fuse blew. But it didn't. <laughs> Now, what are you going to fix if everything in this circuit is good? I went over to the power supply, the plus 5.6 and minus 5.6 volt. It, that was all good. It all measured good. And I could not find nothing wrong. Let me show you the power supply section. This is it right here. We have a transformer that is center tapped here on pin 2 and the wings of the transformer come to this bridge rectifier. It gets rectified to plus and minus volts DC filtered right here with these two 1000 microfarad 16 volt capacitors center beam ground we have a 180 ohm resistor on the plus side and the minus side and then regulated 
by two Zener diodes. This one regulating the positive side. This one regulating the bottom side. That power supply also powers up the voltage comparator and the op amp IC. Now, what did you do to fix it? <laughs> Since nothing was bad, what did you do to fix it? Well, I didn't fix it, but I had to get the machine running. So, I disconnected this circuit right here, the output of the voltage comparator, to the input, the cathode side of the optocoupler. I removed this 1.5 kilo ohm resistor. And now that circuit could not lie to the control board, to the hybrid module on the output side of the optocoupler. And to this very day, <laughs> all these years later, with that resistor removed to defeat that circuit, that drive is still running. <laughs> I hope you can find something bad in this circuit. I'll put these drawings up at the end of the circuit. And I'll also put uh, this destination here and this destination here up on the, up on the uh, video at the end of the video. I hope you can find something bad in your circuit. Uh, but this will get you started. And uh, started in a place to look for. But if you can't find nothing wrong, take this out and that'll defeat that fuse monitoring circuit now let me put the board up and I'll show you where this IC is this IC where this resistor is right here and uh, all of these other parts you can you can find but this will get you in the in the ballpark now here's a broke board that came out of a blown up drive that couldn't be repaired and I take parts off of it. You can see here there's four hybrid modules that I borrowed from this board to fix up another drive. I always keep parts uh, like this right here because you can't get these hybrid modules <laughs> unless you have this board. So if you have a blown up drive or a tore up drive, don't throw it away. Keep it because you can use parts off of these boards. Now, here is the 3CN connector, and pin 8 is where the wire from the fuse monitoring circuit enters that fuse monitoring circuit from, from, the, uh, from across that fuse. Comes in on pin 8 of this connector right here. Here is the area that we're concerned with right here, and let's get closer. Let's get closer. Now, right here, is the UPC 177C. That is the voltage comparator. There's four voltage comparators inside that IC. And pin 8 and 9 are down here and pin 14 is up here. Uh, pin 14 driving into this optocoupler right here. This is a PC614 at the 10 PC location on the board. This optocoupler drives into the hybrid modules down here uh, on the bottom of the board right next to the LEDs the alarm LEDs and the reset button the 470 K ohm resistor is right here this one right here the 1 mega ohm resistor is right above it the diode 20D is right here now you have to unsolder these right here to get good readings from uh, from the diode, the 470K, and the 1 mega ohm input to the uh, fuse monitoring circuit. The other si uh, ICs are located in this bank right here. And you can ohm them out and find them based upon my schematic that I put up at the end of the video. Well, where is the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor that you removed to disable that alarm, that false alarm. Right here is that resistor. So if you cannot find anything just as I couldn't find, if you cannot find anything bad in that circuit, 
take this 1.5 K ohm resistor out at position 120 R and that will clear that fuse alarm find something bad and if you do please please let me know so I can check that in the future all right <laughs> oh the power supply I forgot to mention that that powers up this circuit right here this bridge rectifier down here this green device with four leads coming off of it here's pin one two and three two is ground uh, this is the bridge rectifier here's the filter capacitance right here right there's the 180 ohm resistors and here's the two Zener diodes 5.6 volt Zener diodes right there that'd be a place to look too if, uh, if you don't have a good balanced 5.6 plus and minus voltage that could be the problem causing the false, false alarm but on the board I worked on it was good good rock solid 5.6 plus and minus volts DC where can you pick up ground um, right here on the cathode of that lower diode is ground so you can put your meter ground right there you'll measure negative 5.6 here and positive 5.6 there all right there we go we got it all covered now there is the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor between pin 14 and pin 2 14 of this IC and pin 2 of that optocoupler I hope this helps it sure can't hurt. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm getting a little bit long-winded here. We got to get off and go cook dinner before the sun goes down. Have a good day. And we'll see you next time.